I'm Pastor Dean. Thanks for joining me here at the Lakes for Good News Reflections. It's Friday, October 23rd. It's a beautiful day in Wapaka. Just take a breath. Right now, wherever you are, just say yes. Lord, thank you. Praise you. We glorify you for all that you're doing in my life. For chapter day, we are reading the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 23. And, uh, you know, as I was reading this chapter, I was just overtaken. You know, I, uh, during all that's been going on in our country and with COVID and in the church, the inability for us to gather where there's been a lot more of this versus this that's going on, division in political parties, even within the church, um, I read what's happened to Paul and uh, the ministry he's had as he's been traveling uh, throughout Asia Minor, uh, preaching the good news, having miraculous healings happening, planning the church uh, throughout that part of the world. And here he is in Acts 23. He's been arrested. He's dragged before uh, the ruling body of the Jews, the Sanhedrin in Jerusalem. He's beaten. And actually, he is taken uh, into the Roman barracks because the Romans are trying to protect him uh, from being, as the text says, torn apart. And in the midst of all of this, uh, we have verse 11. And so I invite you just to go there and you can read it with me. The following night, the Lord stood near to Paul and said, Take courage. As you testified about me in Jerusalem, so you must also testify about me in Rome. I don't know where you are right now, but I want to tell you that the Lord God Almighty, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, just like he stood next to Paul, is standing near you. You might not see him, you might not hear him, but he is speaking good news to you. If you are the church in this day, I want you to know that there is hope. And though the days may get tougher, we may go from Jerusalem to Rome to proclaim the good news. God is with us and we, the church, need not fear. For the Holy Spirit is at work and there is a future and a hope for us. That no matter what hardships we may face, the kingdom of God is breaking through in our land. Continue to pray. Continue to prophesy. Continue to speak hope and life at your place of work, in your school, among your friends, on the internet, in social media. The good news that God is at work in the world, that he loves this world and that he has planting his kingdom here and now. Take courage. And as you have testified about me in Jerusalem, so you must also testify in Rome. Church of God, continue to bring testimony of the good news of King Jesus, who has defeated sin, death, and the devil, and loves you and your neighbor. God bless you.